hello students today we are going to discuss another aspect of extensions of mendelian genetics and that is penetrance and expressivity both the terms are related to mutant gene let us discuss what is penetrance and expressivity penetrance is the percentage of individuals having a particular genotype that expresses the associated phenotype or the percentage of individuals showing some degree of expression of a mutant genotype what does that mean it means that say some people have a gene for polydactyly which is more than five fingers or or uh, the people who have extra fingers so say some people have a gene for polydactyly or more than five fingers gene for more than five fingers but th although they have this gene for polydactyly but they have normal uh, number of finger and toes so we expect their children to uh, to have less than uh, 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 we expect their children to have normal fingers which means five fingers but their children they have polydactyly so it means that the gene has come from parents but it was not showing in parents so this is a case where the gene has not fully penetrated or we say that in this case the gene for polydactyly is not fully penetrant so although the gene for polydactyly is present in uh, dominant allele condition but it doesn't show in the person uh, say for example there are 42 people they have gene for polydactyly but out of these 42 only 38 expresses this gene and they show polydactyly in their finger so we say that the penetrance of the polydactylous gene is 90 percent because it is uh, only in 38 out of 42 person people that this gene is showing the expression Another example is suppose we have 100 flies with a mutant gene for eyes and out of these 100 flies only 15 they show uh, wild type eyes then we say that the penetrance of mutant gene is 85%. What does that mean? It means that out of 100 flies uh, with mutant gene for eyes so we expect all the 100 flies to show the expression of the mutant gene but out of these 100 flies 85 percent show the expression of the gene and 15 show wild type it means that although the mutant gene is present in this 15 uh, flies also but it is not showing the expression so we say that penetrance of the mutant gene is only 85 percent it is an incomplete penetrance uh, uh, and uh, this is an example where the gene is not fully penetrant. So the penetrance is related to the expression of the gene in the individual. If the gene is expressed and we can see the mutant phenotype, we say that the gene is mutant gene is penetrant. And this penetrance can be fully penetrant or incomplete penetrance. If it is fully penetrant, then we then the hundred percent individuals they show the mutant phenotype and if it is incomplete or not fully penetrant then there is some percentage of individuals which will show the mutant phenotype now let us discuss what is expressivity so expressivity is the degree to which a trait is expressed what does that mean it means that the degree of expression of any gene is called expressivity. So, in addition to incomplete penetrance, polydactyly exhibits variable expressivity. Incomplete penetrance means that the gene is unable to show its expression in all the individuals and expressivity means that although it is expressed, but there is variation in expression. For example, some polydactylous persons, they possess extra fingers or toes that are fully functional, while 
some have only a small tag of extra skin like you can see here there are two pictures a and b and both have uh, more than five fingers but there is variation in the uh, expression so this is called expressivity expressivity reflects range of expression of a mutant genotype the range can be because of genotype as well as environmental variation so why this expression is there or why this expressivity or why this variation is there it is because of the genotype as well as the environmental variation let us discuss an example of uh, expressivity in this slide so this is figure 4.11 from the book Snustad and Simons and you can refer this book for understanding this topic now this caption says variable expressivity of the lobe mutation in drosophila each fly is heterozygous for this dominant mutation however the phenotypes vary from complete absence of the eye to a nearly wild type so you can see here in picture one there is uh, no eye or there is absence of any eye while in picture first picture second picture third picture and uh, fourth picture you can see that there is variation in the shape of the eye so these all are uh, expressions of the mutant gene fifth or the last picture shows nearly wild type eye so this is the photograph which shows expressivity you can also refer Snustad and Simons for this book and you can uh, check the problems which are related to pedigree you can solve them also you can you can also refer peers for this and you can uh, refer both Snustad and Simons and peers to understand penetrance and expressivity both the books are very good you can see here the picture of polydactylus condition in this child and there are some uh, concept checks in peers which you can do to understand this problem uh, or this topic better for example here we can see that there is concept check 3 which uh, in which the question says how does incomplete dominance differ from incomplete penetrance so you can see here the right answer is there are many options but you can see that in, com in incomplete dominance the heterozygous is intermediate to the homozygotes while in incomplete penetrance some individuals do not express the expected phenotype so these this topic of penetrance and expressivity is very nicely uh, explained in peers and snustad and simons you can refer it and let us meet in next week of video thank you